worms in our fish meal, in our fish food. So that would have been the other ingredient. And I probably, if I had a carnivore um, situation, I would have matched the amount of fish meal for worms. Now I have animal-based protein as the top, as the top ingredient. Will you be able to maintain the stocking rate as these guys get bigger? Yeah, this is, this is a good stocking rate for, I trust myself and my experience with fish, so I kind of stretch it. Obviously, like I said, maximum of a 600 gallon tank would be 300 fish, but I'm at 330 here, but that's okay. I mean, yeah. So uh, up to, up to um, adult size, you can't keep them in there like that? Yeah, I'm going to keep these all, this, all these fish in here for about a year and a half, and then we're going to start harvesting. How many airplanes do you have in this fish? There's yeah. six in the tank. Do you want to put it back in? Uh, sure, that'd be great. There's six in a tank and then there's six in the grow beds, so a total of 12 air stones. And that little 40 watt pump does that, isn't that amazing? Less than a light bulb. How much of the tank is beneath the, the level that we are standing at? Uh, 10 inches, so this tank is 34 inches tall. So that's two, three, just, so just under three, little less than three feet? Exactly, exactly, just under three feet. What's the ratio of this? Uh, this Ah, the, the, oh, the ratio. I follow the standard traditional ratio. I do three to one. So I have 600 gallons here and 1,800 gallons here. Gotcha. Isn't that amazing that this is 1,800 gallons? It doesn't look like it, does it? No. But this is 17 and a half inches deep, which is fairly deep, and it goes for 60 feet. And this is in a straight line, 60 feet. How do you like the spiral aquaponics system, man? We just got through making some fish food, and people are feeding the fish. We're having a great time. Do you oh, you take down in the ground, or just doing What's that? Is the tank actually in the ground or just under? The no, floor? this was a concrete floor um, oh. greenhouse before, so we just leveled the, we just leveled the bottom and made sure everything was nice and level as we built it and built it right on top of the concrete. Do the fifty guns in that garden too much? Like, with your fish, like, is there a certain way to think? You guys, either question about the PPMs. Remember when I was talking about um, hardness yesterday, water hardness, yes. or day before? Um, I was talking about how it's really important to know the, the carbonate hardness of the water and then Sonny asked about is the TDS meter accurate enough. It's not accurate enough because it's also take, like even her throwing this fish food in and I was throwing this fish food in before it's dry and all those fine particles, that's going to bring the TDS up. Because it's not just, it's total dissolved solids versus total alkalinity. So it's not going to give us the reading. but. I like to see it as a general rule. So if I see that thing go way up, then something's changing the system. Oh, okay. If I see it go way down, and it seems like my range for most of my healthy systems is anywhere from 150 to 300. Okay. So if it goes over 300, there's something weird. Under 150, something weird. And then is 8.1, is that just like your water? It's not like you didn't did you have to filter your water? I did run it through a, a charcoal filter just okay. to take some of the hardness yeah. out. If I didn't do this, it would probably be sitting right now at like 8.5. Okay. So in the it was fish house. Yeah, right now? Oh, an opportunity. An opportunity.